What's cracking everybody, Ralph here, and today I'm gonna to solve the problem of how you shoot through glass, not with a gun, but with a camera. Woo! <laughs> Just not working. Gosh. Oh, it's so good. You ever noticed you go to the zoo, you go to a hotel, you go on an airplane, and you want to take a photo and the glass is in the way and the problem with the glass is the glass reflects something else so through your camera lens you see the reflection of the glass as a transparent kind of filter to what you want to shoot and so today we're going to solve that problem for you i'm going to do it real quick but it's going to be fun you're going to be welcomed to ralph's art class today the story behind this ingenuity which i got from someone else a mate of mine who got it from someone who got it from someone so it's not just me but i think you need to know about it because it's gold but tomorrow I'm going flying in an aeroplane to take some shots around Brizzy and the Gold Coast and I'm gonna make a vlog about it so you'll get to see that whole experience should be a lot of fun and I'll teach you how to take a, a great photograph from a aeroplane but to make those photographs great you first of all need to go to a pet shop and buy a dog bowl <laughs> what I'm not even kidding I'm not even kidding you want one of these little puppies that pop out because what we're actually going to do is make a lens hood that sticks on the end of your lens that's flexible that you can stick against the glass right and then you can shoot through this it's all dark problem solved right now you can just you some of you are just like god oh, got it and you click off the video just go down to the pet shop and get stuck into it others of you do not do what i did this is what i used to use here's the idea pops on like that and then you turn it around like so and it's good well it's good when you have two hands to do it but look at that that's what happens when you use a power drill a power drill to get through don't use a power drill we can be far more civilized than that with a uh, quite an obvious answer this cost me 25 bucks i am going to find a link in the and put the link in the description of something that is a lot cheaper than uh, this surely they're cheaper than 25 bucks although for, you can get them the professional some some dudes literally cut a hole out of a dog bowl and sold it for 35 bucks so do yourself a favor and put in a, a couple of minutes work now first of all here's what the dog bowl looks like first of all you want to pinch your wife's scissors from the kitchen that she would kill you if she knew you were using because these are food only scissors but they're the sharpest scissors in the house I don't understand, but she never watches this channel as she bragged about the other day. So, Lyndall, thank you very much. Okay, we're just going to make this nice and neat. And look at that. It's like it was made for photography. Now we've got to sort out this. Now, here's, here's the problem. Tomorrow, I'm going to be shooting my 70 to 200 lens. The lens diameter, or the filter diameter, is 77 mil. You know that because... 77 mil is written on the inside of your lens caps so if you're ever wondering what sort of filter size you need lens cap or there's a little 77 with a circle and a line through it somewhere on your lens so this is one lens but the other lens i frequently use when i find myself shooting through glass which isn't all the time but it is occasional is this and this is a 72 mil so i've got five mil difference between this and this and i want it to be snug so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it to about about 72 mil and then I'm going to try it on here and we're going to see if it works. We're using a scalpel knife which for those of you that know me already are going I'm going to stick around and see if he cuts his arm off. Um, I just want to say be careful when you use these it's important you don't cut your fingers off because it's very difficult to take photographs if you cut your finger off. <music> Oh, so look at that. They're all still there. And the question you're asking as you look at how neatly this fits on here and how cleverly it also fits on here, if you drop it in like that, um, it's just that the idea is it sticks on the glass and you can move your camera around to the angle you want without the reflection of other stuff coming in. The question you're asking is will it actually impede the image? Well, I'm glad you asked because I need to check. So let's do that. This is a Nikon Z6 or a Nikon Z6. If you're from Nikon 
and you know the answer to whether it's a Nikon or a Nikon, could you please comment below and phonetically inform me? If you're not from Nikon, you can inform me, but it'd be just way better if you were from Nikon. So it's a full frame camera, and the idea is that when I look out this, I don't see any of this border. This is the widest this lens shoots at, and as you can see, no issue at all. There's nothing in the corners. And let me just um, fire off a quick shot, and I'll watch that back on the replay. Yeah, nothing. It's gold, folks. Now, for a thorough investigation, and we're nearly done. Just hang with us for two secs, because what I'm going to do is make sure that on my 24 to 70, that was a 70 to 200, my 24 to 70, whether there's an issue at all, because 24 is a lot wider, which means there's more chance of it knocking up against. Let's just see how we go. Yeah, it's actually all right. It'll work, because you suck this against the glass. And you have the freedom to move your camera wherever you like. But the idea is it's like a hood that sticks to the glass. But because this is rubber, latex, I think, it will stick and manipulate itself to the glass. So you hold it to the glass with this and you control the camera with this. So you can actually go on different angles. And if you're shooting on 24, you'll probably get a little bit of, see that? You'll probably get a little bit of a, a disqualification. But if you pull it this way on the same angle, you see? So have a fiddle, but that'll solve your problems. And it's like 25 bucks. I'm gonna find somewhere cheaper for you guys. If you want, in the description below. Thanks heaps, see you in the next video. Oh, and subscribe if you like. Give us a thumbs up, blah, blah, bye. <sighs> oh. Man, I'm glad I didn't cut my fingers off. People are probably freaking out when I'm like going around there. Going, oh, he's gonna cut his hands off. <laughs>